Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new one here on my channel. I've never done a lip swatch video, so I'm excited for this one. My lips feel a little bit sore right now. I just finished swatching these. I'm complaining and I only swatch nine lipsticks. Um, this line actually has 40, so imagine if I would have swatched all 40 of them. That would have taken me hours and hours and hours to do. Anyways, you probably saw it in the title, but we're going to be talking about these right here. These are the new Lip Stories by Sephora Collection lipsticks. So Sephora Collection came out with a new line of lipsticks. They're called Lip Stories. Um, the, li the lipsticks are kind of inspired by like lifetime events. Um, so I think the concept behind them is really, really cute. They have 40 shades of lipstick that they're coming out with. I just tried them, so in a minute you'll be able to see what I think about them. I grabbed nine of the lipsticks, um, the ones that I that kind of grabbed my attention the most. The ones I grabbed were more, mostly cream, but I do have three mattes and a metallic one that you're going to see as well. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoy it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Let's just go ahead and get started. Let's talk about what the lipsticks are. The line is called Lip Stories, and it says, This is lipstick for real life. Not just ring lights, lipstick for celebrating the wild adventures, best moments and magical memories in your life. So grab a shade or four and take your lipstick outside. See you out there. So I think it's a really cute idea that they did these lipsticks and they have like this like story behind them. Um, there are fragrances like the replica fragrances that are like that where it's just supposed to smell like a certain moment. So I guess that these specific shades are supposed to remind you of a certain moment. I did do a good job at grabbing all three finishes that the line comes with. They have a cream finish, they have a matte finish, and they have a metallic finish. So I did grab those. Let me show you kind of what the packaging looks like. It's these here. So you can see they're little like cardboard lipsticks. So at first I thought that they were lip balms. Um, and then I understood that they just each have a picture of what like their story is in the back. So for instance, this one here called Yum Yum has pictures of cookies and we'll know in a second why that is. This one's got like a taxi, a Hong Kong taxi. And this one here has a picture of like a diner. They also look kind of small, so I was wondering if they have less uh, product in them than regular, than regular lipsticks, but they don't. They have the same amount of like product that any other lipstick would have, it's just kind of standard. So going back to the packaging, I did think it was a little bit cheaper packaging because it's like cardboard, um, although I do understand that they wanted to like print pictures of things um, in them for like their stories, right? Which I think is a great idea. But then the most important thing about these is that these are $8. So this is officially the cheapest lipstick Sephora sells. Now I haven't tried them yet, so I don't know what the quality of the lipsticks are, but if these are a good quality, which honestly they look like they will be a good quality, this is amazing. I also forgot to read you guys the description. So this is the description. So this is why I think they look really promising. It says it's a high pigment, lightweight lipstick that provides full coverage color in one swipe and is available in 40 shades and three finishes matte cream and metal. So it says it's one swipe pigment um, for all of the different um, finishes and that it's a lightweight lipstick. So all of that sounds really, really good to me. Okay, so the first one I'm going to try is this one here, the Yum Yum one, which has the cookies outside and this one is a cream finished one. So this is part of the holidays story. So it's called holidays. Um, besides this one, number 11 fireside, 44 woof and 48 just at tinsel. All of those are part of this um, story as well. The story says, from hometown hangs to winter getaways, these shades were made for the coziest time of year. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh boy, they are very pigmented. Mmm, nice. Okay, so this is Yum Yum On. I really, really like the color. It's like a nice brown shade, uh, but it's not like poopy brown like it's got some dimension to it i like that it applied really really easily it was one swipe pigment like it said um and these are very very creamy i'm really really impressed with sephora that this is an eight dollar lipstick like this is really nice 
Okay, so the second one we're going to talk about is number 27, which is part of the story Lady Business. So this story has 45 city beats, 27 Hong Kong by night, which is the one I'm about to try. It has um, 09 Labyrinth and it has 47 cash money so it says these bold lipsticks were made for girls going to big places like interviews for that promotion to head babe in charge so this is the one that had the hong kong taxi outside and then when you open it this one is a metal finish so this is the only metal finish one that i grabbed just because i'm not a metallic finish kind of person like for lipsticks it hasn't grown on me yet All right, so this one is a pretty shade, but again, for some reason, I don't love metallic finish lipsticks. It is just not my thing yet. I have tried and I, they have to grow on me a little bit more. However, if you love metallic finish lipsticks, this one is very, very creamy. It looks pretty. It's just not my personal cup of tea. Um, it is one swipe pigment and it feels really lightweight and hydrating. So... I'm really impressed by these lipsticks. Okay, so the next one I'm going to try is number 29, and this one is called Malt Shake. Um, this one is part of the stories that is called Hashtag Throwback. So this one has 35, Take a Bite, 22, A Little Magic, 41, Take a Spin, and then Malt, um, malt Shake, tw number 29. And then this one says, dive into that nostalgic feeling with shades that will inspire you for future hashtag TBT pics. Malt Shake has a picture of the, the diner. And this one is a cream finish one. This one is an interesting color. It's like a really deep reddish brown. I think I'm going to like it. This is one of those that makes your teeth look white, and I like it for that. Um, I had to clean a little bit around it with some concealer because I went outside the line with it when I first started putting it on. I do really like this color. It's very festive. It's like a color that could go from fall to winter um, with no problem because it's it's like a reddish tone, so it's festive, um, and it it's a deep color lipstick. So I really, really like it. Again, really creamy, really pigmented. Okay, so let's try the first matte one. So this one is number 38. This one is called Off Limits. And this is part of a collection that is called Wiped Up. This one says, these wedding party approved shades are all about L-O-V-E. So the color I have is number 38 and that one is called Off Limits. There is also number three, which is called We. Um, seven is called Love Love and 51 is called Light Festival. So this one's gonna be the first matte one. It's got this really pretty image on the outside of like a door or something. And once you open it, this is what it looks like. I'm excited to see if the matte ones are as creamy and like one swipe pigments as the cream ones. It, it is. <laughs> oh my God, these are really nice lipsticks. A matte finish lipstick is my absolute favorite and I think one of the reasons is that matte finish lipsticks are a little bit easier to apply. Like with the creamy ones and the metallic ones, they're so creamy that it's a little bit harder to like stay in the lines with them. But with a matte lipstick like this one, it's easier because it's a bit more dense of a cream. So it's easier to control where I put the lipstick on. But I mean, this color does not go with this eye look but the color is really pretty. Okay, so from the next story, I have two. I have number six and number 36. So this story is called Spring Break State of Mind, and it says, when you're ready to get out of here, these shades will transport you back to being poolside in Puerto Vallarta. And then I have number six, which is called 10 Lines. I have 36, which is called Spring Break, um, and then they also have 21 Pineapple Express and 24 Deep Water Bay. So I think this one, these are both creams. This is Spring Break, it's got a beach with people on the outside, and this is what the color looks on the inside. It's a like really pretty like color. So 
so this is number 36 spring break So this one is number nine, tan lines, and it's got a little like beach sign there. This one is also a cream shade. I'm excited for this one. This is, I think, the first nude that I'm going to try, and I love my nude lipsticks. So um, fingers crossed this one's really good. Like I said, I really like my nude lipsticks, so... I do really like this one quite a lot. It's on the verge of being a color that washes me out, I think, but I don't think it's quite light enough to wash me out. So I do like it. I think I would really love it with a little bit of a darker lip liner, though. Okay, so next I have these two. I have another matte and a dip, uh, super nice, like, deep burgundy color. These are part of the Story Brunch Days. So it says, these lipsticks were made for brunch days, aka the best days, aka the days that start with an S. I have number 32, Very Luscious, and I have number 1, Brunch Date. The Story also has number 43 in the clouds and number 26 all washed up so this one here is very delicious and it's got a picture of a very yummy breakfast in the front with some blueberries and stuff and some chia seeds this one is also a cream So this is another one of those shades that makes your lips look really nice and white. I really like this bold color. Again, it looks really similar to my MAC Rebel, which is one of my absolute favorite, like, berry tone lipsticks. So let's do two more. So this is the next one. It's called Brunch Date, and it's got a brunch table right there. This is number one, and I'm very excited because it's a matte shade. I think I'm going to like this um, nude lipstick the best out of the ones that I got. Oh yeah, that's a me shade. That's a Patricia shade. So obviously I think this is my favorite one. <laughs> um, I am a sucker for these type of nude tone shades. This one is my favorite so far. Okay, so the last one that I have is number 33. And this one is part of the story top down life which says music on tops down these shades were made for bullet tripping with your ride or die chicks so in this story we have number 49 ouch number 30 matinee 31 golden gate and 33 wanderlust so this is what wanderlust looks like and it's got a mountain and the road in there and this one is also a matte shade so i'm very excited for it so let's try it on Oh, I already love it. Okay, and it looks like we saved some of the best for last because I love this one. This is a really pretty vampy look. Um, I love, I think, hands down, my favorite formula is the matte one. So this is good for you guys to know because if you guys are into matte lipsticks, definitely go for the matte in this collection. All right, so I put number 10 back on because I thought this was the one that looked the best with my eyeshadow that I'm wearing today. I am very impressed by these lipsticks um, and the fact that they're only $8. These are lipsticks that you can take with you anywhere um, and they have a color for everything. Again, 40 different shades, only $8 at Sephora. Um, that's going to be the cheapest lipstick you can buy at Sephora for sure. And the shades are very creamy, very pigmented. Now that I like know what they feel like and I've swatched them and all of that, I think what I would do um, is I would buy more matte shades just because I prefer the way the matte shades feel. There were a couple of shades that I don't think I loved. Um, I didn't love the number 36. This one was the spring break color and I didn't love Hong Kong, I think it was. Yeah, Hong Kong by night, that metallic shade. I just don't like metallic shade lipsticks. But other than that, the other ones 
were all really really pretty I did really like them 100% um, recommend these um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget before you leave to subscribe to my channel if you want check out the rest of my videos that I've made this month they're all holiday related so holiday lunches what you needed for Christmas um, I did a Christmas makeup tutorial my next video is going to be a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial that I'm very excited about because we're gonna get all glammed up and sparkled up and everything it's going to be a fun one so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on that one and you can also check me out on Instagram and snapchat and Twitter whenever I'm not here on YouTube posting new videos um, you can check me out over there Snapchat's mainly my dog, but <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.